The Simpsons predicting the futures of 2023. The Simpsons predicting the futures of 2020. Wendy's is selling a one cent cheeseburger from September 8th. It was too good to be true. It is. Don't fucking run out and buy these penny fucking cheeseburgers. They've been selling y'all 52 cent clapped out ass cheeseburgers for 10 bucks. You think all of a sudden they give a fuck about y'all. They're going to hook you up for a penny. We think they're in the boardroom going, there's a lot of hungry Americans out there and they ain't got a lot of money. What can we do to help? Let's make the cheeseburgers one penny. Good idea, Wendy. That's not how it went. It was more like, hey. Ooh, glad I caught it. Glad I caught it. <laughs> He's about to say a buzzword. So, Shalom, Shalom, Yashua Allah. We're going to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashib, Yahweh Shah, Bahashib Rakadash. Rich in the Paleo Hebrew tongues, Christian as of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your sister and brother, is true. And Shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and standing, show themselves approved. Shalom. Now, as you just seen from that clip, the brother in Kansas City showed that Wendy's called itself selling burgers starting September 18th to the 22nd for one penny. And that's just like, hey, first thing when I seen that was straight, that's a straight trap, a straight snare. That's what that is. And this Edomite looking dude, which I perceive to be Edomite, could be a Jake, because he said some Jake like stuff. As you can go to the brother's page. You know, you can go to, all you do is go to my page, go to the community, and bam, watch the brother's lesson right there to get to, you know, the whole clip of what dude had to say, because he broke it down the next bit on what they're really doing, which I couldn't play because he's going to say that B word, but he's basically saying like, they're going to put the juice in the burgers, and then that's how they're going to get the stuff and the people and i'm looking at esau like you know as far as these dumb babylonians these americans that's a, that's a good snare because who's gonna i know a lot of you like to eat at wendy's you know I, I usually eat at wendy's and then if wendy's gonna do a burger for a cent one penny hey a lot of jakes is gonna fall for that y'all a lot of jakes are gonna fall for that a lot of people that's gonna make wendy's say we're gonna see if this is true because it sounds too good to be true like i'm like y'all that was really gonna sell a burger for a penny but it does sound like something esau would do because the devil is desperate he has to get this stuff in everybody's body so october 4th which they say october 4th could be any day they they're gonna like basically they're gonna let off a 5g signal that's gonna activate you know everything that's been put in these people's bodies man the juice is gonna activate that and you can tell that because there's been two movies that's like that. When you watch a movie called Cell with Samuel Jackson, it shows you that. And then there's another movie called Kingsman where they all, also Samuel Jackson was in that movie. He was the villain in that movie where they activated the signal and it made people go crazy. And if you watch that, that Simpsons clip, you know, as it played, it showed, like, the crusty Burgers turning everybody into zombies. And that could very well happen. You know, that's, that's a major possibility. And this devil, like, see, don't nobody want to go and drink some juice. So, you know, you devil, they got boardrooms and think tanks. They're like, how can we get these people to get this stuff in their body? I got it. You know, let's, give them, let's put it in the burgers and the hamburger meat. And let's sell the hamburgers for one cent. Everybody and mama gonna go for that, man. They're gonna go for that. If if you know you ain't got no wisdom, which you know majority of our nation doesn't. So they're gonna go for that. And that's that shows me this devil is desperate. Cause that's they're gonna take a loss on that, you know? Or they can't really take no loss, cause they'll just part compensate and they part tell them, I give you thirty million, man, if you put this in your burgers and put this on the menu so I can get this in people's system. And that's a, that's a mighty snare, man. That's a fool snare. You know, that's that's a lot of ways Esau's playing on the people, man. 
He playing on their hunger. You know, people doing bad. You know, this is the devil taking advantage of people. Knowing it's hard to afford groceries and, and inflation is kicking in. So you gotta make a burger for one cent. And the people gonna flock to that. I know they're gonna have to put um, restrictions on how many you can buy. Because with one dollar, you can get like 90 burgers. So I know they're gonna put a restriction on how many you can get. But this is, this is, when I first seen that, this lesson, I'm like, man, that's that's very odd right there. Like, he got something going on. Esau got something going on big time with that. Because that don't make no sense. No sense at all. So, basically, the devil doing a food trap, man. Pretty much like that right there. It's, it's doing the same thing, this modern style. But it's the same concept, you know, same thing. So let's go to, I'm going to go to Blue Level Bible. Let's go to Blue Level Bible. Because I want to get a word. Because, you know, we got a lot of new people. And I keep saying snare. And a person might not understand what a snare is. So I want to break down and show them what a snare is. And we're going to get the first precept. We're going to go Psalms. 38 and 12 and it says they also that seek after my life lay snares for me and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long that's all these devils do and precept is talking about esau edom aka the white man all he does he's the one seeking after our life because he has perpetual hatred towards us so he wants to spill the blood of the children of israel so that he wants to do that no matter how means he do it he want to do it because they seek our hurt. Why? Because we're the children of Israel. We are the children that Yahabashah loves. That's why they seek our hurt. So they speak bad about us, mischievous things. Uh, we niggas, uh, ratchets, and, and no good to society. You know, they try to paint out like we the worst of the worst, even though this devil is. And they imagine deceits all day long. Like this deceit right here, man. If they sell them burgers for a cent, that's deceit, man. That might even be real hamburger meat they giving you. I ain't telling what they giving you for one cent. That's a deceit. That's all these devils do is get in their think tanks. How can we destroy the children of Israel? How can we do it? I got it, man. They love hamburgers, don't they? Put it in the hamburgers. They like, oh, man, you brilliant, man. That's a great idea. Let's lower the price to where we know they're going to jump on it. They're going to jump all over it. They're going to be all up in a hey, long line waiting on the Wendy Burgers for a pity. And then you got to just think, you can't even get no piece of candy for no penny. So how are you going to get a burger for a penny? And what you trying to do? And only for five business days. This is giving me Popeye's chicken vibes. Remember they were doing the little Popeye's chicken, had everybody going crazy? They're like they were running it back with more nefarious themes, you know. So let's get this right here into Antonin Lear. See if I can get snares. Let's go back. I want to get snare. And it seems like it got a bunch of words in here. I don't know which one that is. Oh, yeah, I think I got it. Go to this. Strong's H, 5367. Not cash. Not cash. Not cash. And it means to entrap with the news, literally, figuratively, catch. Lay, snare, so it means to catch you up. That means to, you know, entrap you. What are they going to entrap you with? This devil trying to get some nanoparticles, you know, graphene, oxate, whatever chemical it is, in your body so that he can pump a signal that will activate whatever particles you got in your body that's going to make you either go crazy, rage out like a zombie, or you might just drop dead. Either one of the two, he's going to get his ends meet because... Once those two events happen, then he can initiate martial law. 
and then attacked the rest that, you know, didn't go for it. But he can get rid of a lot of bodies just by putting, you know, whatever little, little disease or contraption or virus, whatever you want to put, in the burgers, had the people eat it, and then get rid of them just like that. That's just real easy. That's an easy move. And I know a lot of people in my family going to go for it. A lot of people in your family too, y'all. They're going to call you up. Oh, Wendy's got a one cent burger. You better jump all over it. They're going to be all over it, man. And, and a lot of Jays going to die from a burger if they decide to go forward with this plan. You know, we'll see. Because I think the 18th is what? Monday, I want to say. Or sometime next week. So we're going to see if they're going to actually pull this plan. You know, because we're ahead of this devil. We see it. It's a trap. We see the traps are like a good watchman. We caught it out. And I'm at the point now, I, I'm like literally of all fast food, y'all, I'm thinking about going on a straight fast and this home-cooked meals from here on out. I'm looking at everything now, fast food with a side eye like, what you putting in this stuff? I know this devil desperate, man. If he do this plan, this devil is desperate. So I'm going to tell him what this devil is do. You know? So let's go to Psalms 10 and 2. This Psalms 10 and 20 reads, The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken to the vice that they have imagined. Yeah, and that's, that's how we feel, man. The wicked, they trying to persecute us, man. They trying to get us, you know? Because who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, he's the wicked. You know, and in his pride, he's trying to get the children of Israel. And he like, this will work. This going to be easy, which for the two-thirds it will be. So it says, let them be taking the devices they imagine. <laughs> a lot of Edomites will go ahead and go eat that burger too. A lot of Edomites eat Wendy's too. So it would be so ironic if the majority of people that go eat that one cent burger be a bunch of Edomites and they don't give Jake none. And that would be that precept coming alive right there. What they try to, you know... Put on us and take us out. All he did was take out his own people. Their numbers is already low. Already low. You know? So they really be messed up right there. But that's the wicked, man. He trying to persecute the poor. He trying to mess the food. That's why the, the two biggest people who own farmland now are uh, Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. They own most of the farmland. They trying to... Hey, they about to make sure this fame come in. And then... With, with inflation going bad, everything going bad, oh, I got some one cent burgers for you. Man, that's no good. Something ain't right with the burgers. Something ain't right at all. So let's go to Lock you. Yeah, I'm tired. Let's go to Psalms 64 and 5. And this reads they encourage themselves in an the evil matter. The communal land snares privily. They say, who shall seize them? So this, that's Esau to the T, man. Encourage themselves in the evil matter. That's evil, man. People out here need help. People out here are hungry. And instead of you feeding them or giving them nutrients so they can do what they need to do, you go put some, some chemical stuff, nanobots and nanoparticles in the burgers, then give it to the people so it'll be for their harm. That's diabolical. That's devil stuff right there. That's, that's encouraging yourself in the evil matter, like the scriptures say. And that's communal land snares privilege. That ain't nothing but a snare, a trap. That's a food trap. And a lot of people going to get got with that, man. A lot of people going to probably buy for their family, think they doing good, saving money. And the whole time you eating the burger, you getting nano particles in your body. That's why Esau got to go, man. That's wicked right there. That's very deceitful. Very deceitful. You know, <laughs> that's why it pays to know what's going on and know your enemy so you don't fall for all they BS they throw it up. So let's go to Micah 2 and 1. And this is Micah 2 and 1. It reads, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. See, that's them devils right there. You know, they devise iniquity. What's iniquity? That's sin on sin, you know. Um, straight wickedness. 
is what they doing. And they working upon their bed. They go to sleep thinking about this stuff. Like, we're going to get millions and millions of people to eat nanoparticle meat. So then later on, I can activate my signal and either, you know, straight destroy that person. Especially if you eat that burger, it's most likely going to take your life away. And the people don't even know it. They just think they eating a burger, got a burger for one cent, and it's all good. They think Esau looking out for them. They be, praise the Lord for this burger. And don't even know what the hell going on. Don't know the Esau got nanoparticles in it. And they just gone, man. That's why it, it, it pays to be woke at this time. To know who you have about Shai is. Know who we are as Israelites. Because if you don't know at this time, you in that strong delusion, all oh, the devil going to take advantage of you. He going to take straight advantage of you and not give a damn. You know, they work them they, this iniquity and evilness upon their beds, man. And when the morning come, they do it. Why? Because they're able to do that. They are in control. You know, starting with your ish people and eating my own down. Your your 1948ers, they run it, man. And they diabolical. And all the contemporaries are the same way. And everybody drop the position to, you know, try to live life. And further, you know, this devil's enterprise. Little do they know. You went right to your death eating that nanoparticle burger. And these people this. I said, if they do that, I can just see my phone blowing up now. You better go get that burger. It's good. And I just had to shake my head like, boy, you dumb niggas. And see, we got to praise this precept right here. I'm going to leave off this right here. It's going to tell you to be a long last. We want to watch out to show you, like, don't eat them burgers <laughs> when they come out. If you decide to do that, do not eat no penny burger at all. The devil is not taking a, a monetary loss for nothing. <laughs> so best believe it's nefarious reasons behind that. So this is my uh, second Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get advantage of us. If we are not ignorant of his devices and see the wise is not man when i first like i said when i first seen that i'm like nah that's that devil doing something man something ain't right a penny burger man you ain't even you can't get a piece of bubble gum for a penny so why does they all of a sudden want to do that at this time plus we already know about the october 4th signal which he can change the dates because everybody catching on to that so i, I think I, I believe that the devil gonna change the date us man but i i I believe it's still gonna go down this winter. It's just it ain't gonna be October fourth no more. That's all over. Everybody know about that day. So the devil like, dang, they figured me out. Push it back. Are we gonna wait? Or they could do it. You know, we just have to wait and find out and see. But the reason they got these burgers going, that's to get the nanoparticles in you. So when October roll around, they put that signal on. Hey, it's guaranteed to work on you. And if that signal working on you, it's nothing to give you an MOTB. You already gone. You know? So we got to stay blessed, y'all, Sherala, that we're in the house of David. And we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We see all his moves, his snares, his traps. And we ain't about to fall for it, man. We, we ten toes down in this truth. And this devil, he's, he's about to go. That's That's desperation. If this devil decides to do that, I smell straight desperation from this devil, which lets me know we get real close to Yahweh Shah's glorious return. If he pulling moves like this, this devil desperate. Penny hamburgers. <laughs> Go ahead and destroy your life. You know? So with that being said, man, I hope this has been informative. I hope it's been edifying. And I want to say Kwan Yashar Allah, Detail by Bob, Shalom.